um, Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this is your most thorough reading about you and the person that you came to the reading to hear about. My intentions are just to do a general collective reading for the people who click on this video and may need the message. So I went ahead and pulled a tarot card to get an overall idea of why the whole reading needs to go down. That I'm not ready for them to flip yet, but of why the whole reading needs to go down. And two came out, so I kept both of them. But you got the Six of Swords upright and the Five of Pentacles came out behind it reversed. So I feel like you are doing your best to try and work on moving ahead from a connection that was very rocky and had problems because you're moving to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. But with the Five of Pentacles reversed coming out behind it, I feel like... I don't know why this could only be for one person, but I'm just going to say it because I feel like I need to, that you and this person could have been attracted to each other, like, not because you realized it, but it was like abandonment issues that you had from other connections or your childhood or something like that, and it could have attracted this person into your experience or vice versa, you into theirs, and now that you're working on yourself, as far as the issues go within yourself, you're literally working on moving ahead and getting away from this person. But we're going to go ahead and get three cards and see what else wants to come out. That could have just been for one person, like I said. But overall, this is saying that you're trying to move ahead and move away from this person. Coming out of the energy of feeling abandoned and out in the cold. Moving ahead within yourself and still being happy even if you're alone, basically. That's the best energy to be in. But we're going to get three cards for... Aquarius, and I hope I didn't say another sign because Aquarius was the intention for this reading. The person on your mind, their future actions, and their feelings. Three cards for Aquarius. Two of Cups. Uh-oh. So this could be new love. This could be someone that you're moving towards that you haven't even met yet because I feel like this energy, that's why it's going down, is is saying that you have worked on a lot of issues within yourself and you're moving forward. So this could be something that's new that's coming along. The future actions is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And their feelings is the Justice card, Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra. This new person could be a Libra. But the person on your mind, this is a very mutual kind of connection with the Two of Cups upright. This is like equal give and take. And then on top of that, you get the justice card for their feelings. They want to give this, they want to give this attention and energy just like you do. The future actions of this person is seven of pentacles reversed. Not waiting around. If they were in this energy, this would be stalled out energy, trying to decide if they're going to move forward, you know, halting their energy, holding back, waiting around, having you waiting around. But this is the energy of not waiting for the opportunity to come to them, but taking advantage of the opportunity that they see with you. I really feel like this is for someone who's got a new connection coming in. After they have healed a lot of their wounds and abandonment issues, and they had a very rocky connection with someone else, they're making the conscious effort to move forward and the universe is just letting you know that there's a new connection in your energy that's coming in you may have met this person or you may have not but it's a two of cups connection this is that equal give and take energy okay so the problem with this connection if there is one i don't feel like this come this is like i always say what is the problem after i get these three cards lately that's the way i've been pulling the reading but you got the Queen of Wands upright. So one thing that could be any kind of issue, if any, is that this person could be a little bit intimidated by your energy. Because a Queen of Wands is very confident, goes after what she wants. So basically, they could be a little intimidated by your energy to start with. You could just know that off the bat, that um, they're, not, they're not trying to hold back or be shy, but... Also, it could be saying that's why they're not in the Seven of Pentacles reverse. They know you're in, you you could be, you could have fire in your chart, could be harnessing a lot of fire energy, even though this is for Aquarius, I know. But it's the energy of you have healed and you are moving forward and kicking ass and taking names, basically. And so this person doesn't feel like they need to wait around 
um, that just flipped for how you feel about them, for how Aquarius feels about this person, and what your future actions are. And we're just going to go ahead and get, no, I'm going to wait. Because those just flipped automatically. We'll get to these two cards in just a second. But they feel like, basically, they don't need to wait around because you are in that energy of the Queen of Wands moving forward in your life in general. And so, they feel like they don't need to let you get away, in other words. And they want to give you equal give and take. If this is your reading, you should definitely go for this person. This person has really good energy because two of cups upright. That's mutual emotion and mutual connection. How do you feel about them, Aquarius? The Eight of Swords. So, probably just because, like, all of us have past shit, past people that have given us hell in some type of way, and you've done a lot of work on yourself, and you're starting to be comfortable on your own, basically, when this reading comes and it's supposed to resonate for you, you're going to be up in your head a little bit. You're going to be overthinking the situation a little bit. Like, I feel like that energy of who goes there. Like, what the hell are you doing talking to me? What do you want from me? So, that's the energy of how you feel about them. And then you could be coming across this reading just to know that maybe you need to not be in your head about it. Because this is the energy of somebody who wants to even, like, reciprocate the emotion and the effort. It's even. It's even with justice being here. It's pretty, pretty, pretty reading. Your future actions is the strength card. Could be a Leo person that's coming in for you. But also, this is the energy of holding back from this person because you are up in your head a little bit. That's probably normal. I mean, hell, anybody who's been in a connection like me or you, whoever you are watching, I have a feeling I know the kind of connections you've been in. If you had to do a lot of work on yourself, get, get comfortable back in your own skin again, you've been in some rocky wavy ass water and you're finally going to the still water and then somebody pops up that seems like it's a good catch but then you're like wait a minute the last person seemed like a good catch for a minute but just don't get up in your head because i think spirit is saying there is a connection coming in you're on a new vibration now you've done work on yourself you've healed so you're attracting in a new type of connection that you've never had before if you're on a vibration you've never been on before you're going to be attracting things that you never had before but you're going to, off the bat, in the beginning, the cards are saying, unless you hear this reading and make the choice not to do this, of course, because we all have free will, it's just saying that you may possibly get in your head a little bit about this. And you may hold back your communication. But if possible not to do that, because you're a badass queen of wands in this reading, that's the way you're coming off. What is the outcome for this connection going into August? Like I said, this connection could not be here yet. I'm not sure about that part. But what I do know is if you've been doing work on yourself, then you're attracting something in that's unlike anything you've ever had before. So just know that. The outcome for this connection for Aquarius going into August. The judgment card. So, I don't feel like this is something coming around from the past unless this per is a person that has equally done work on themselves. If they have, then they're going to be coming at this with a whole new vibration. So, either way, this is just energy. Just know that the person I'm referring to, whether it's past or new, it's a whole new cycle. I believe you've went through an awakening. And I believe this is going to... This is going to be a whole new experience for you. A really good experience, actually. So, how does this person see you? How does this person see Aquarius, universe? How does this person see Aquarius? We already know the person has two of cups in tension, so that's really good. And their feelings is the justice card. So, they want equal give and take. You know what I mean? How do they see Aquarius? The Nine of Wands. So they feel like you're guarded. They feel like you've been through a lot in your past. If they don't know you yet, when they come into your energy, they're going to gather that from maybe something you say to them. Or maybe they know someone who's known you before. I'm not sure. But they feel like you're guarded because of some things you've went through in your past. 
but who hadn't went through some things in their past? How are you going to see this person or how do you see this person? I don't know why I feel like this is a future reading for you, whoever's listening to this. Even if it's only for one person, I don't care. I just feel like I need to do the reading. So if it's just that one person, just know this is like energy you're listening to. Oh, damn. How you see them, you're going to see them as the Ten of Pentacles. Can we say uh, good reading, upright? So this is someone you're going to see as the end all be all. This is the family card. This is the legacy card. This is the divine feminine and divine masculine people getting together and kicking ass and taking names card. This is awesome. So I don't even want to go any further really because I feel like that's it. I feel like just know if you come across this reading and you sound like this sounds like your story, you've done a lot of work on your inner wounds, on your abandonment issues, you're moving forward on your own. There's going to be someone, just to recap, this is so good, it makes me all fuzzy inside. It's going to be a two of cup situation, a mutual love, mutual emotions, both people connected and willing to give both evenly. They're not going to have you waiting around. They're going to take action when they see you. They're going to go after it because they're going to recognize the gem that you are. Their feelings is going to make sure they give you a balanced connection. That's fair and just and something you deserve to be in and not some back and forth toxic bullshit. The problem is that they could be a little intimidated by you to begin with because they know that you're confident. They know that you go after what you want. And they could just be a little intimidated at first. Just know that. But how do you feel about them when they come into your experience? You're going to be up in your head a little bit about it. And you're going to want to hold back communication. But the universe is saying this connection is sent to you from the divine because you've done work on yourself and you've went through an awakening. You're on a new vibrational level now. So when you're on a new vibration, you're going to attract things that's unlike anything you've ever had before. And this is something that you will be able to create a legacy with. They're going to see you as a little guarded, probably because you're up in your head and holding back a little bit on them. They know you've been through a lot. I'm sure with this earth energy showing up, they will be patient and willing to deal with that as it comes. And you see them as Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to realize that this person is someone different than anything you've ever had. That they are willing to figure it out with you. And they are willing to go on that journey. So this is a really good reading for somebody. And I hope it resonates with everybody that clicks on here. And thank you so much for watching.